So as I told you, the index.js is going to be the most important file and it's going to serve as the, uh, connect, the, the point that's going to connect everything in our project and it's going to deliver the, uh, the, 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 the HTML to the user so that the user will be able to interact with the application. So this is why the index is very important. Now, the first thing that we want to do in the index is that we need to create a server, a local server, because obviously in Node.js, the purpose of using Node.js is to create a server that's going to serve the, uh, the pages to the user. So to create a server here, I'm going to use Express. So first we need to import Express. So I'm going to say here, let me zoom in first. And then here, the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to say var and then express. And then it's going to be equal to require and then express. Require and then in single quotes, I'm going to say express. So this is going to import the express. And the ex express is already, uh, has already been installed in the node underscore modules. If you open the node underscore modules, you should find that we have the express here, express. So now I have imported the express. The second thing that I'm going to import is the EJS. So I'm going to say here var and then EJS, which is going to be equal to require, require, and then I'm going to import the EJS, which is going to allow me to pass data to the HTML whenever I want to. Now, what I need to do is that I need to create an object of this express. I need to create a variable. Uh, of, uh, I need to use this express. So to use this ex express, I'm going to create a variable called app. And this app is going to be equal to express. Express. I'm going to call this function, this express function. So this express function is going to be stored in this app and I will be able to use this app to create a local server. So now this app is very, very important because this app, I'm going to be using it uh, throughout this file to create and deliver data to the user, to deliver, pa deliver pages to the user. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to create a uh, server. So first to create a server, we need to say here app and then we need to call a function called get we need to call a function called get and then this function get takes two parameters it takes the url that you want uh, that you want to the parameter is the callback function that you want to uh, use to to uh, to send something to the user to to display something to the user so i'm going to say here function and then this function takes two parameters it takes the request and the response. And then inside that function, you can return something to the user. So this function is going to return something to the user. And we can specify whatever we want to return to the user. 